So this is going to be a quick video on how to find a uh, supercharger gasket leak on the Series 1 3800 uh, supercharged V6. Um, GM actually put a TSB out about this issue. Um, one of the symptoms is uh, high idle or rough idle. Um, also, check engine light. Uh, I don't recall what the code number was. I want to say it was like P0176. 71 and maybe 141 uh, for one with for a lean uh, a two lean uh, mixture and bank one or uh, no one was a low signal from the oxygen sensor now what I did was on uh, this car just ignore the knocking uh, sensor trying to get replaced but I want to get all the other issues out of the way first <laughs> Really here it's running like crap, but uh when I got the oxygen sensor cut I tried swapping out the sensor with just the wiring right there to pull it out. Tried swapping it and it didn't do anything. Now in the series one, down under here, under the supercharger, the whole original gasket design has a leak problem. Which you can easily find using a can of brake cleaner. Now the engine running, see what happens when I spray it there. See a clean area that I already hit. Listen to the sound of the engine. Almost stalled when I did that. And I did stall it. So that's a hell of an air leak. <laughs> if you could stall it doing that. Just start this back up the stream one more time. By the way, whoever owned this car wired in this awesome switch here. You squeeze it. How cool is that? <laughs> One more time. Right into the snout. You guys, you gotta hear the whip, the sucking sound. Well, you get the idea. So that is one leaky ass gasket. So that's the last problem I have to solve in this uh, car. It runs like crap before I can pull the engine, but if you own a GM car with one of these engines in it, it'd be good to check that out if it's running like crap. I think this is a 94 to 95 uh, problem. 96 was a Series 2, which got rid of that issue, as far as I know. Alright, take care, guys.